Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and I thought I would give you guys a face reading on P. Diddy. With everything going on with the news, I figured let's give him a face reading and see what kind of secrets his face holds. Okay, um, I was actually surprised there's um, more stuff in there than I thought there was. Um, I'm not going to go super into detail with everything because I don't want to get in trouble, but there's, yeah, there's a lot. Um, so... Let's just jump in. He has a very high forehead. Um, it's also very squared off. So this is somebody who would be a very good businessman. So I'm not surprised that he's made a lot of money um, from his endeavors and, and you know partnerships or whatever. Um, he might have, have investments and stuff. Um, it's also quite bubbly from you see the site profile. This is someone who is very creative or they tend to be very creative. So the fact that it's bubbly and it's squared and it's high, it totally makes sense to me that he's made a career out of his creativity. Um, his eyebrows in some pictures when it's not trimmed, there's a little bit of a high here. It kind of almost looks like little devil horns. This is someone who does have malice in them. Okay. Who can be violent as well sometimes. Um, his eyes are quite small and set back. Um, this is someone who can be cruel. This is somebody who can also, um, keep a lot of secrets. This is somebody who has ulterior motives, um, who also believes other people have ulterior motives. So it totally makes sense that he had his home full of cameras. And I think it was just so he can have leverage later kind of thing. So it makes sense to me. He feels everyone has ulterior motives like he does. That's where I'm trying to get at. Um, so there is cruelness to his eyes and he could also have been very uh, paranoid about people, their motives. Um, so let's move on to his, oh, temples. Um, those are quite sunken in. This is someone who doesn't want to really be in the moment. Um, I guess they would want to be in ulterior states. So whether this is through substance abuse, alcohol, sexual stuff, or even creativity. Okay, this is somebody who kind of just even when you see his eyes, he kind of looks like he may not even fully be there. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, let's move on to his philtrum. His philtrum is quite wide. This is someone who has a lot of sexual stamina or stamina, I guess. Um, so that makes sense. Um, let's go to his mustache. It's quite thin and it goes around like this. This is somebody who has a lot of feminine energy. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are you know, this is someone who's who's a gay or something like that. This is someone who, um, if you're a male, this could be someone who just has a lot of um, creativity or is very in tune with their uh, feminine side, okay? Um, he also has a very large mouth. This is someone who has a, um, who's very ambitious, okay? And who's not afraid to go after what they want. Um, sometimes any means necessary okay um his upper lip is kind of like m shape this is someone who's very good with his mouth this is someone who um is very well spoken someone who can convince you to see things his way who can convince you be very convincing period um so i i, I could see how some people might have fallen into that trap um he also has a bit of a windows peak, I guess, going down on his upper lip. This is someone who is very argumentative. Doesn't mean that they're argumentative all the time, but when they do become argumentative, um, it's not pretty. And this is someone you really don't want to go up against when you're, you know, like a, a battle. Again, he also uses his mouth because he's a rapper singer. So that makes sense. But yes, this is someone who can be very, very argumentative. Um, his lower lip is quite large. This is someone who is really chases after what feels good, the earthly things in life, what, you know, pleasure. It's like 24 seven pleasure, whether it's sexual pleasure or, you know, um, making money, you know, those kind of things that, you know, uh, people feel bound to, I guess, um, whatever you feel pleasure is. Um, it's also there's also slack in his lower lip. This is someone who can also be kind of um, 
touchy, okay? Uh, so that kind of makes sense too as well. Um, hmm. His chin kind of goes down a little bit like this. This is somebody who also, at the time of his life, maybe in childhood or teenage years, maybe he was forced into, I want to say, it was like deprivation, I guess, um, what it is. Um, he also has a bit of, um, um, what's it called? Um, his teeth kind of stick out a little bit, uh, overbite. Uh, this is somebody who, again, maybe there was not enough love at home as well, those kind of things. Um, but yeah, this is what I see overall, guys. Again, there's so much more. I'm trying to be careful, but let me know if you want a second part to this. Um, and as always, stay magical.